What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about some news of The Walking Dead in Season 7, Episode 14 and 15. Synopsis, no titles yet, just some synopsis. Spoiler warning of the information that we know so far and what's likely to occur on those episodes that we've known from a couple different sites. And it's pretty good. It looks pretty awesome. So spoiler warning, if you don't want to know, here we go. So Episode 7, 14. That saviors visit the hilltop unexpectedly, surprising everyone with plans of taking more than supplies. So, episode 714, the saviors go back to the hilltop unexpectedly, surprising everyone. So, Daryl will be there most likely, Maggie will be there, Sasha, and I would assume that it's going to be, this is the first time we're going to see Maggie since... 709 so maggie's not really in this season or second half of the season at least at all so we'll see her there at 714 so the saviors come back to the hilltop daryl most likely be there and the saviors are taking more than supplies we'll talk about that in a second but i would i would assume it's simon because simon good keeps going to the hilltop he does his rounds like that too negan can trust simon simon hasn't let down negan at all i would assume that he goes there to get something in particular more than just supplies. We'll talk about that in a second. But with this unexpected visit, do you think that they see the balloons here? I don't know the answer. This is just a question. And I've always wondered this too. By putting the green balloons on the grave, is that going to have more suspicion with the group? Davey, I haven't seen at the hilltop. Davey has just come with the saviors at Alexandria and the sanctuary. That scumbag Davey. Green balloons, Enid, connection there too. If he's there, he sees the balloons, he might put two and two together. Don't know, just the thought. We always thought about that when the hilltop, when she put them on the graves, just what do you think it's going to come back around? So Daryl, well, did he make it to the hilltop? I think so. I think you don't have a problem getting there. I don't think we'll really see that any problems with that. But the unexpectedly show up, Daryl's got to hide. So it's going to be a little tense moment there too. I don't believe he gets caught, captured, in trouble at all. But so Maggie's got to hide. Daryl's got to hide. And I believe Sasha leaves. I believe Sasha goes out on a mission. I think Rosita's involved. I'm pretty sure Rosita's involved. And this is the start of it. And in that episode 714, this is the start and what the word is saying about the demise of Sasha. It starts around here in 714. So we'll see if it goes down the way it does. But it would suck if it does. Let's talk about this guy right here, Dr. Carson. Dr. Harlan Carson, I believe his name is, from the Hilltop. He is the doctor that was going to have take care of Maggie and the baby when it's born and everything there too. But if it unfolds in tonight's episode 711, the way it's saying that this doctor, his brother, Dr. Emmett Carson, who was the doctor for the saviors at the sanctuary, if he actually dies in tonight's episode 711, the saviors are going to be without a doctor. Negan and the saviors will be like, we'll just go to the hilltop and take his brother. We take what we want, what we want, who we want, when we want. So that's what we're going to do. So that's what they're probably talking about more than just supplies. They go to take this. Sorry, Glenn fans. I know it's a touching picture, but that's one of the best pictures of it. So I would think people are asking like, whoa, what are they going to do? I th Maggie's not going to have the baby for a while. She probably would not have the baby until season eight at the back end of season eight, if not season nine, when the war is over. So they could have and get the doctor back or she could go to the kingdom to have the baby. But either way, it's going to be a long time till Maggie actually has the baby. Episode 715, no title yet, but the synopsis, a group of Alexandrians embarks on a journey. One member of the group must make a heartbreaking decision. Who do you think that is? Post your comments below what you think it is. But to me, the group of Alexandrians is probably the main group, Rick, Michonne, Aaron, Tara, you know, the main Alexandrians there. But who's the member of the group that's gonna make the hard decision? I would think it's a lot of the group that went to the scavengers, the garbage pile kids, the heapsters, whatever you're calling those people to go back out. But to me, the member of the group is gonna be Tara and the area is gonna be Oceanside. I think Oceanside is going to be the group that they need to go to because they need guns. They have to get guns to fight them or give to the garbage pile kids or whatever. Tara's gonna show up and be like, ha ha suckers, I'm back. Yeah. No, I think it's going to be hard for Tara. 
to break the promise. I think she's going to be a rock and a hard place. I would think she gives a big speech to the group. She was talking about it in an interview. Alana Masterson said how big of the moment was when she had to give this epic dialogue to Rick and a couple members of the group when they were doing the scene, probably when they were going in the woods to go to Oceanside. I feel bad for Cindy, though. I feel bad that Tara's going to break the promise, but she's going to break the promise. They already kind of hinted at that, too, when Rick says, you know where to go, not to go. You guys went out far, right? And Tara, you know, clutched her bracelet that was made by Cindy. That's a tell that we're going to see that again. They keep saying that we're going to see Oceanside's unfinished business there again. Plus, guns, guns, more guns, guns, soon or else. You know, the Garbage Pail Kids want some guns. Rick's group needs some guns. Hilltop needs some guns. They need guns. The guns, guns, guns. And the Garbage Pail Kids, I don't know if... Rick and the gang are not going to be able to get them guns quick enough to, to get them on their side. So then they have to go back out to do that. And that's what forces Tara to say, look, I know where to get guns. And she just breaks the promise and get, tells Rick and the gang to go to Oceanside to get the guns. I think that's what it comes down to. So I just love this picture of Jim Carrey's face from Dumb and Dumber on Jadis's head. So <laughs> there you go, guys. So what do you make of it? Do you think of 714 and 715? the synopsis and what do you think of the information so post your comments below guys check out the walking dead community page on facebook if you like this channel if you like that group for sure all are welcome uh let us know what you think of the information i said if you like this channel subscribe today to get more videos thank you guys for watching post your comments below and you guys are awesome